Hello my friends, William Poloniak here from Whole Health Foundation. In this video I'm going to show you a few tips that will save you a lot of frustration when you're making juice. Now here I'm making plain carrot juice and what I want to mention is that when you're feeding in large carrots, feed in the big side first, but very important, feed it in slowly with your hand covering. Now watch what I'm doing carefully. Now I'm going to feed this in very, very slowly. Now once you have your first carrot in there, you can put more in. Keeping it covered. Another good tip is to go down only part way. You notice I have a little bit of pusher still showing. Also another tip is when you have smaller carrots you can reverse them. Big end to small end, put two carrots at a time. That'll save you some time. Use both hands to push down. Use two hands to push down because you want to save your spine. You don't want to be lopsided by pushing with only one hand. Now, when my temperature gets above 20, 20 degrees centigrade, I'm going to put in three ice cubes. Not more than three. Another tip is to check the wing nuts every so often because the vibration will loosen them. Now here's another important tip. When you put ice cubes through, the next time you put a carrot in, do it as though it was an empty chute because what the ice cubes have done is they've cleared all the pulp out. So keep it covered, put a carrot in and move it in very slowly with your hand over the top until you get some pulp out. These are all very important little tips, so pay attention. Here goes our last carrot. Now because the last carrot might have a little plug of carrot in there, what you want to do is take some pulp, fill up the tube, and you're going to push that little last plug through. Now rather than clean the feed tube, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that later and go to the next little tip that has to do with folding your cloths. Three cloths full of, or three spoons full of pulp. Pull it over, pat it down, pull it over. Pat it down, a little crease at the back, a little crease in the front, and set it aside. And we'll make a second cloth full. Now, if you'll remember what I mentioned about the cloths going up slowly at first, I'm going to do what's called my six cloth method. Fold it at the back, fold it here, pull it into a tight package. Put it in. Now, all the way back, back it off a little bit, and while this is going up, I am going to make another set of cloths. Watch the cloth now. Pat it down here. Pat it down, put a piece here, piece there, pull it into a tight package, set it aside. Let's make another cloth full. Put 
Pull it over, pat it down. Pull it over, pat it down. Nice tight little package. Set it aside. Now when you're down to your last cloth, now usually what I do is I put my pump back in the bowl for the first 50% to absorb any liquid that's in there. So when you're down to your last cloth, you can advance this all the way. So here we are. A crease at the back, crease there, fold it into a tight package, slide it over here. Now rather than put that pulp back in, I'm just going to dump new pulp on top of this. Now on the last cloth, advance it all the way. That's going to save you time. Pull this into a tight package. A crease at the back, a crease at the front, pull it into a tight package, flatten it. You want to make sure you flatten it. Now here's my six cloth method. This comes forward, this goes over, and the spent cloth goes on top. Now I'm going to review what I just said. You put the new cloth in, centered, all the way forward, and back it off about three quarters of an inch. This pulp is going to start throwing it away. Now the last of my pulp, I'm going to use a spatula. It always takes a little longer when you're making a video because I'm explaining. If I was doing this without distraction, it would go a lot faster. Now, I'm on my last plot, so you advance it all the way. Pull it over, flatten it down, pull it over, flatten it down. A little crease at the back, a little crease in front, and fold it into a tight package, set it aside. put my last cloth in here. Two cloths at a time makes better pressure and more juice extracted. All the way back, back it off a little bit. I'm going to explain why. If it's too wet, it'll be too slippery, it'll fall apart, and juice pulp will come out everywhere. You do not want that. Now my last cloths, what I'm going to do is put them in here to absorb all this liquid in the bowl. Can you go down here? Last cloth, back it all the way. There you have it, my friends. I hope you found that to be helpful tips. Another frustrating part of making juice for a lot of people is cleaning the cloths. And what you do is with cold water, scrub off the pulp. Scrub off the pulp. And then you fold them in thirds just the way they, be, they came packaged. Once you become adept at this, it will be very, very easy to use. Hold it in thirds as centered as you can. And it goes into the press. Turn the valve all the way up and turn it on. And have a container to catch your water. plastic bag and into the freezer. There you have it my friends. Mm -hmm. Hope you like what you see.